Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. As you know, if you listened to yesterday's episode, then you know that this is Seamus, uh, Seamus Heaney week here on the, uh, the podcast. He died six years ago on August 30th. And there's a new collection out that his family put together that spans his lifetime called 100 Poems. And I want to read one more of the earlier poems to you. Um, and then we'll read um, the Thursday and Friday. We'll read a couple of poems that are later in his career. So this one is called Digging. And it was from around the same time as the poem that I read yesterday, Death of a Naturalist. It goes like this. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, snug as a gun. Under my window, a clean rasping sound when the spade sinks into gravelly ground. My father digging. I look down till his straining rump among the flower beds bend low, comes up twenty years away, stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging. The coarse boot nestled on the lug. The shaft against the inside knee was levered firmly. He rooted out tall tops, buried the bright edge deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, loving their cool hardness in our hands. By God, the old man could handle a spade, just like his old man. My grandfather cut more turf in a day than any other man on Toner's Bog. Once I carried him milk in a bottle, corked sloppily with paper. He straightened up to drink it. Then fell to right away, nicking and slicing neatly, heaving sods over his shoulder, going down and down for the good turf, digging. The cold smell of potato mold, the squelch and slap of soggy peat, the curt cuts of an edge through living roots awaken in my head. But I've no spade to follow men like them. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests. I'll dig with it. This is a poem that I think is meaningful to anybody who has had to follow in the footsteps of, of family members who you respect or honor or value the work that they did. Um, to anybody who has um, maybe felt like pursuing their own path. Um, it's a father-son poem. Um, it's a legacy poem. It's also a poem about the power of poetry. So anybody who loves writing poetry or reading poetry and maybe feels like they're the odd man out in their community or their family or or whatever it is, this is the kind of poem that can be uh, meaningful to them. Haney's father and grandfather were, were farmers. They dug their tool was the shovel. But he, his digging is going to happen through poetry. Um, you get the sense throughout this poem that he's unsure of whether what he's doing is as valuable as what his father did. Or I get the sense anyway. But then you get the sense that, and I don't know if he thought this, but I get the the feeling um, in reading this that had his father not done what he did, had his grandfather not done what he did, he would not have, he would not have had the capacity to be a poet, to dig with the pen. That what they did and the way that he saw them do what they did, the way they lived their lives, um, imbued in something in him that empowered him to see the world in the way um, that led to him being a great poet. Certainly he had certain giftings with language, but what they did gave him a, a worldview, if you, if you will, um, by which he was able to, um, to see the world in a way that that made him a poet. He was a poet because of that. I, I met with a poet recently who who lived out in the country, and I said, "Could you have, could you have been a poet if you lived somewhere else?" And he said that he didn't think he would have. And I suspect that that would have been true if, you know, if I asked Seamus Heaney that question, I bet that he would have said the same thing. So once more, here is Seamus Heaney's digging. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, snug as a gun. Under my window, a clean rasping sound when the spade sinks into gravelly ground. My father digging. 
I look down till his straining rump among the flower beds bends low, comes up twenty years away, stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging. The coarse boot nestled on the lug. The shaft against the inside knee was levered firmly. He rooted out tall tops, buried the bright edge deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, loving their cool hardness in our hands. By God, the old man could handle a spade, just like his old man. My grandfather cut more turf in a day than any other man on Toner's Bog. Once I carried him milk in a bottle corked sloppily with paper. He straightened up to drink it, then fell to, right away nicking and slicing neatly, heaving sods over his shoulder, going down and down for the good turf, digging. The cold smell of potato mold, the squelch and slap of soggy peat, the curt cuts of an edge, through living roots awaken in my head. But I've no spade to follow men like them. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests. I'll dig with it. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you. 